good morning dear students today we are going to start chapter number 5 of geography and the title is water surrounding the earth dear students we have learned in previous class that our earth is openly called the water planet or the blue planet why it is called blue planet because of the presence of abundant water on it water covers about 71% of the earth's surface which is present as oceans rivers lakes underground flow glacial ice and water vapor in the air and more than 97% of water on the earth is salt water which is present in oceans and sea and about 2% water is glacier ice and less than 1% of water on the earth is fresh water which is found in lakes and rivers and the name of four oceans are pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean and arctic ocean which are the largest reservoir of water on the earth and we know very well the water never remains static it has a cycle which has neither a beginning nor an end so let's find out in detail how the process of water cycle works here you can see the diagram of water cycle the sun is the main source of energy which causes water to evaporate hence the water of ocean is converted into water vapors due to the heat of the sun by the process of evaporation and what happened next the evaporated vapors rise up in the atmosphere and condensed into tiny crystals of ice or droplets of water to form clouds when the condensed ice crystals or water droplets grow in size and unable to float they fall down on the surface of earth as precipitation and this never ending circulation of water is known as water cycle now what happened to rain water a major part of water runs off over the earth surface forming numerous streams and a small part of rain water seeps inside the earth which forms ground water and the ground water is very important for the growth of plants because they derive ground water through their root system and return it to the atmosphere in the form of moisture through their leaves and in the high altitude region water is found in the form of ice crystal so we can say that there is a continuous supply of water to the earth but the distribution of water is not uniform some of the areas receive heavy rainfall but some of the areas receive very low rainfall so we can regulate this resource by storing the surplus water in the largest reservoir or by any other way so to sustain life on the earth we should save this precious natural resource today uh, your homework is draw the diagram of water cycle thank you